I'm aware that the um, sound on my computer uh, videos has not been amazing recently. And that might be because of the phone I'm using. I thought it was better, but it is. So, <clears throat> I wanted a plug-in microphone that uh, that uses the 3.5mm headphone jack because this phone has one. And um, so I bought the Rode Video Mic Go. I've heard good reviews on it. And the idea is called a shotgun mic. So on the DSLR, it slides on top. But I miss. <laughs> misjudged something. It's the same size as my phone. <laughs> so it's got a two year warranty. But it's second hand, so it comes with that with any cleaning. An integrated Rycote Liar suspension. It doesn't require a battery, so it can just go straight work on the phone. I mean, this is assuming it works with the phone. It's lightweight. The American family unit. Try that again. Oh, excuse me. <coughs> <coughs> Hay fever season. So, Rhoda. Time pick up focuses, find the microphone. So I think this will be more for like a, a vlogging one or something. But we'll see. I'll have a go for so this instruction manual I know just was under there. This must be the flex thing. There might be different ways of doing that. So. What else do you get? You get an empty bag. Uh, screws and Allen key. I'm not entirely sure what they're for. Connection wire, which doesn't look very long, but I imagine it doesn't matter too much which wire it is, so that could be an idea. I've got like a six foot one, so it's an idea. So let's have a look at it. Losing the camera connection slightly. Yeah, it seems fairly simple. So, oh, this comes off apparently. So that's the actual microphone itself. It's supposed to be a fair size, so it's got a weight break. So that goes there. And then, should we try plugging it in now? Just to see if it does anything. To be honest, I imagine it won't. But it's interesting to see. That. So that goes into the bag there. And then that stretches. Where's my headphone? Headphone jack is there. Or if 
is still picking up here, so. Well, I think that's enough.